Hi guys, welcome to this new set of tutorials. These sets of tutorials will be focused on algorithms uh, rather than specific program language because it will help you solve the problem and it will make learning other languages easier for you. Okay, uh, so uh, the ideas for the first set of tutorials will be something easy and trivial and uh, you might think it's not important, but basically understanding these clearly will help you build up more complex uh, programs and also help you understand how to solve bigger problems. Okay, so we are going to start with uh, something very simple today, which is swapping variables. And the idea of swapping variables is uh, very straightforward. Here you have two variables, which is A and B. Uh, a is having 30, B is having 70, you want to end up with a situation where A is 70 and B is 30. And the value 30 and 70 doesn't have to be 30 and 70, it can be any uh, two random values. Okay, so this is just an illustrative uh, example. Okay, so how do you solve such kind of problem? Uh, usually when you want to solve anything, you just consider a real world situation. So in this case, let's say I brought you two beakers, each one's having a liquid in, uh, in it, and I asked you to swap them. So obviously the thing that you're gonna do is this. You're gonna bring a third beaker and then, uh, and then uh, pour the content of the beaker A into C. Okay, so you will end up with A empty. Now you will pour the content of B into A, and this means B now is empty, and finally, you will pour content of C into B, so you get them swapped like this. Now, okay, it's easy to understand the real world. How do you translate this into prog into a program? Now, watch carefully. Each one of the step will be uh, converted into a single statement in as uh, in the program. Okay, so right now. Uh, first thing, let's assume that each variable is actually a cup, okay? So right now, A and B are variables and they are at the same time are cups. So here we have A and B, uh, A is 30, B is uh, 70. So now when you bring another one, which is cup C or B curve C, uh, A is 30, B is 70, or you might read this from the uh, your own device or anything, any other place, and C is an empty beaker, C is actually a variable, and it could have anything, but usually we assume it's empty, <coughs> so you don't have to worry about its initial value. Okay, now next we are gonna pour the content of A into C, and what, what this means is that it translates to C equal A, it means the content of A will be a copy of, uh, uh, sorry, the content of C will be the, the, a copy of what is in A. <coughs> so you can think about it li like that, y you just pour the, the liquid from A into C. Now the next step is to move what is in B into A, uh, and this is how you write it, okay? You always write the destination uh, on, on the left and the source on the right. Okay, so we end up uh, we end up with like this. And next B is empty, so we're gonna fold B. So B now equ equals C. This is how we write it. And finally, uh, they are they are all swapped. So the full code for this is gonna be like this: C equal A, A equal B, and B equals C. So this is basically how you swap two variables. And uh, it's important to understand this because, as I said, um, you are gonna use this. Uh, simple idea in many places okay for example uh, you can uh, well basically uh, you use this in uh, sorting okay and the, the next set of uh, after a number of tutorials about arrays we will see how we can use swap uh, during uh, a sort operation and how it helps us with that okay so um, yeah uh, and by the way uh, this is not the only way to do a swap. There are other, uh, other ways to do it. Some are a little bit complex, but um, uh, <coughs> actually at, uh, I know other, other two, and uh, th they would make things complex. But this is a simple thing. You don't need to do it in a complex way. Uh, okay, so I hope you'll find this useful. So um, 
you have further questions or suggestions send them to uh, mkdicep.com and uh, have a nice day bye bye